Hello, Bill. It's us, Canada. We love your show, and we were so excited that you talked about us on your episode. We feel famous. Let's listen a bit. And finally, new rule, if we want to save our country, we should follow the advice good liberals have given for decades and learn from other countries. That's nice. We'd be happy to help any way we can. And I agree we should, as long as we're honest about the lessons we're learning, <clears throat> and as long as we're up to date on the current data. Yes, it is very important to be honest and have the current data. What have you got for us? The unemployment rate in the U.S. is 3.8%, and in Canada, it's 6.1%. Oh, well, this is awkward. Unemployment rates are actually calculated very differently in our two countries. So this comparison only works if you do the math, like converting yards to meters, or U.S. dollars to whatever the hell these are. Canada is actually going through a labor shortage right now and desperately seeking skilled workers from other countries. But you have such a great research staff, we're sure you already knew that. Last year, Canada added 1.3 million people, which is a lot in one year, the equivalent of the U.S. adding 11 million migrants in one year. And now they're experiencing a housing crisis even worse than ours. Oh, yeah, Canada's housing crisis does suck. But you know what sucks more? Blaming it on immigrants. See, housing isn't expensive because greedy refugees are rudely demanding a roof over their heads. Housing is expensive because capitalism. See, housing is expensive because we took a basic human right and turned it into a parasitic commodity that preys on the vulnerable and creates a self-sustaining ecosystem of obscene wealth for a few at the cost of mental health for everyone else. And that's not just in Canada. That's everywhere. You know what else is everywhere? Air. And of the 15 North American cities with the worst air pollution, 14 are in Canada. Oh, geez. This is embarrassing. Sorry. But this isn't pollution data. These are particulate numbers from last year's wildfires, where we had to burn 18 million hectares of forest just to briefly elbow the United States off the list. Converted for Americans, that's 150 million Krispy Kreme parking lots or roughly the size of Pennsylvania. After the fires, the U.S. went right back on top with 14 out of the 15 most polluted cities in North America. The 15th city was Toronto, which, as residents are constantly reminded, is downwind from Detroit. Sorry, Bill, you were talking. Of the 30 countries with universal coverage, Canada spends over 13% of its economy on it, which is a lot of money for free health care. We definitely need to communicate this better to outsiders. Healthcare isn't actually free here. You see, we pay what Canadians call taxes into a system managed by what Canadians call a government. That government pays into a system that manages our health for us so grandma doesn't have to sell her house to buy a new hip. America actually spends twice as much on healthcare per person without offering even the most basic services that we Canadians, admittedly, sometimes have to wait for until the next morning when the free clinic opens. Oh, is there more? If Canada was an apartment, the lead feature might be America adjacent. Have you seen America from the outside lately? Honestly, Canada, I'm not saying any of this because I enjoy it. I don't because I've always enjoyed you. But I need to cite you as a cautionary tale to help my country. What exactly are you cautioning America against? A three-party government, clean water, free mammograms? Listen, Bill, Canada has never been your perception of us. We're sorry we didn't measure up to the cartoonish utopia you imagined every time we send regrets to an invasion party. And man, do we have our share of problems. But if you're actually being honest and up-to-date on the data, you'll see we've got it pretty good up here. And we're not really looking for notes. But hey, we've got some notes for you. Read our book, America But Better. And while you're at it, maybe vote Canada for president. Canada, we do our research.